Hello, welcome to this week's CMC Markets Currency Snapshot with myself, Jasper Lawler. We're going to be looking at the dollar Canadian pair. Um, it's been rallying massively. Essentially, the Canadian dollar has been collapsing alongside the price of oil because of Canada's econ uh, economic reliance on its oil exports. And so we've seen the dollar CAD care, uh, pair put in a, a low for the first time in 13 days yesterday. And we want to see if maybe this is the first signs of a little turnaround and what that can mean for the oil price. So as you can see from this chart to the right of me here, it's a pretty steep incline on the dollar CAD. Canadian dollar has, as we said, been losing its value alongside the price of oil, which just hit $27 per barrel in the West Texas crude oil price. And so US dollar CAD has just hit 147, just a notch above the, the round number 145. And so what we're looking at here is just a potentially a small top in dollar CAD, potentially a basing in the oil price. There's some evidence to suggest that is number one, it's around that round number, 145. But if we also look at this daily chart for the dollar CAD, we can see that we've got this double top possible formation here in the RSI price. And so that double top around 90, which is massively overbought on the daily RSI, along with this round number um, and massive oversold in oil, really overbought in the, uh, the dollar CAD, suggests maybe we're going to see a little bit of a downturn on from here. And this uh, bearish engulfing candlestick on the daily chart is a little bit of extra evidence to suggest maybe that's where the, the maybe a correction is in, is in hand or about to begin in this dollar CAD pair. So that's it for this week's CMC Markets currency snapshot. Really just a bit of an overbought signal going on in the dollar CAD. That could potentially mean a bit of an oversold situation in the US oil. And so maybe we can see a little correction down from here in, in dollar CAD, maybe a bounce in crude oil. But obviously keep in mind that these are strong trends. and We don't want to go too heavily against those trends. That generally is the best way to get burnt.